Okay, this is the empirical rule in under three minutes in statistics. Uh, what we have here is a normal distribution. You know it's normal by the bell-shaped curve. And we have the mean in the middle. And we have the empirical rule. And these numbers down here, we're going to talk about these numbers and kind of what they represent with the empirical rule. Uh, the standard deviation is going to be given to us or calculated. And using that, uh, for example, if the standard deviation is uh, 1.5, we know that we go 1.5 to the right and we also go 1.5 to the left. That's the standard deviation. So we're going to write one unit of standard deviation to the right and one unit of standard deviation to the left. Go ahead and draw dashes upward to give us an accurate representation of the bell curve here. Now you can just see there, there's the 68 percent of the data set right there. This amount here. One to the right and one to the left. Using that same unit of standard deviation, another 1.5 will go to the right, and that'll be two units to the right and two units to the left. So now, this represents, and I can just kind of draw this around like this, this represents 95% of a data set, saying that 95% of the data set will fall between uh, two uh, units of standard deviation to the right of the mean and two to the left. So that's what we see here. Finally, 99.7 is going to be three units of standard deviation. So three units to the right and three units to the left. Okay, and that represents the 99.7% of the data. And like I said, the standard deviation you can calculate or it's given to you when we plot it on a normal distribution, we can see how uh, the relevance comes to life. 68%, 95%, two units, and 99.7%, three units. That's the empirical rule in under three minutes. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to comment. Check out my other videos. Thank you.